Hello YouTubers, today we're working on this 2005 Neon SXT and we're going to be doing the rear struts. And customer got them from AutoZone, they're Duralast. Okay, we got the tire off. Let's check out the goodies. Make sure we've got the right. Okay, looks the same. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Knock these two bolts out. Unhook this line right here. It's got a, probably a 10 mil. And that's it on that side. And then we gotta come back up here. Move this plastic out of the way. And you're gonna have three bolts or three nut, two nuts and one little bolt over there. And uh, the reason I got this open is because I was doing the seat belt, but they got the wrong seat belt. So I'm gonna have to wait on the seat belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the struts on it. Let me spray it with penetrating oil. Okay, we're gonna hold this bolt here with the 15 millimeter, and that's an 18 on this side. And I'll hit that with the impact gun. See if we can get that bad boy out. Put the jack a little bit down there and put pressure on this so I can pop those bolts out. Put the jack real quick. Okay, I got the jack under it. I'm gonna jack it up a little bit. You know what? I think I gotta loosen the top ones first. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got two 13 millimeters right here. And these are nuts and one 10 millimeter little bolt over there. There's a little 10 mil. Okay, I'm gonna leave the camera here so y'all can see as I uh, loosen those 13 millimeter bolts up on the top. Okay, I'm gonna uh, release the pressure on the jack and see if uh, that goes down a little bit. All right, we're loose. Let me get this uh, bolt to the brake line. I don't wanna pull on it. So let me release that. Okay, as y'all can see, it's loose now. So there's no danger of getting it caught with the strut. Okay, these seem like they're kind of rusted on there. So I'm gonna put the nut back on. I'm gonna hammer them out. Yeah, they kind of get stuck on there, so you might have to uh, help them out a little bit. Take the old hammer to it. And I think that's it. There goes that strut. Get a different view. How comes the strut? Get the new one. Put it next to it, looks good. Sometimes these nuts up here, they'll change, they'll go to a different size. I've had that happen before. That one out of the way. And let's go ahead and try to put the uh, bottom bolts first, see how that works out. 
sometimes you have to do the top, but I think we can get away with the bottom bolts first on this one. Okay, now this line is kind of being in the way. It's got a little play, but don't go pulling on it too much and tear up the line. Okay, we got one in. Let's get the bottom one. There, they're both in. Like I said, this line has a little bit of movement. Don't pull it. You move it, just barely move it any. You don't want it hitting, rubbing on the uh, strutter. It's gonna put a hole on that brake line. I uh, can't get this up in there. All right, there I am. That looks good. Now let's try to align up here. Okay, I've got the jack on the bottom there. And then I'm gonna go up through the top and I've got it here where I can reach the handle and jack it up. I'm gonna try line, to align those uh, bolts and I might have to jack it up a little bit. And like I was telling you guys, these bolts do change and they did change. They went from 13 to a 12 millimeter now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this prime bar and try to push right there where it aligns, jacking it up. And I'm not aligning it, but I'm gonna go move the strut. Where's the other? Nope, it popped out. Let's try again. Okay, and of course, this is a lot easier if you have a friend or somebody helping you. So here we go again. That one's coming lined up. All right, now I just gotta go to the bottom and try to uh, wiggle that in place. Am I in, guys? Yep. Yes, sir. Now I'll jack it up. Put the nuts on there. so they won't fall and like i told you before guys i'm a mirror guy i use this mirror a lot uh, we're almost there can y'all see all right guys that was the hardest part putting that little booger in there so what i did i took a punch and i stuck it in the hole and i moved it and when it was aligned i tightened these up and then that made that whole line and I was able to put that screw in there. Okay, we already uh, put that 10 millimeter bolt back here holding the line. Now we're gonna tighten these up 18 millimeter. Side. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and that's how you do the struts. Uh, not very hard. Uh, they run smooth. Uh, this is what they had. <laughs> they had two different uh, struts on there. So we noticed one side was higher than the other side right here. Let me show you. Now they're both the same. See that width? That other side had a lot more width on it, so I guess it was kind of lopsided. But anyway, thanks for watching, and like always, uh, really appreciate you, and God bless you.